All right, so I am uh, cleaning up some brass here. Uh, this is 223 uh, Starline brass. Um, a couple of videos ago, I just uh, picked up 100 pieces of this. And basically, I've fired it a couple times, and I'm ready to start doing some load development with it. Uh, I'm going to use this stuff in the next uh, little series I want to do on this 223 this, uh, in the AR-15 platform. But what I'm doing now is... Um, I'm basically uh, setting up my resizing die. All right, um, my brass has been annealed and it's coming out of the gun. Uh, the fired length here, and I'm using. Uh, I guess first of all, I'm using the uh, Hornady um, uh, headspace gauge, and this this thing kind of zeroes out at, at right about two inches. So I just kind of generically uh, use that as my reference. But coming out of the gun here, right, we've got. Uh, let's see, we got 2 point, eh, pretty much 2.60, 2.61 looks like, right? Now what I want to do is I want a 2000s, well first of all, kind of explain this because there's a lot of confusion around this, but I want a full length size, um, basically the body on this guy and bump the shoulder uh, to thou. So that's what I'm finally getting this thing set up and it's just kind of a trial and error this is where uh you've seen in previous videos maybe the reading uh competition reloading um shell holder kit comes in handy i don't have one for this gun yet so i'm doing it the old-fashioned way and it's just kind of trial and error but so that one measured at 261 let's see what we get after it comes out of the resizing die yeah, 259. So there's 2000 bump. So that's all I'm doing here. And um, like I said, it's it's setting up the die uh, to do this. But uh, for these guys, um, you know, we want them to all be the same. And we want them to be resized uh, all the way. Full length resized. So just a little tip I thought I'd share. Thanks.